All right, guys, uh, welcome back to a quick video about the camper conversion that I performed on my 2003 Land Rover Discovery 2. So I rescued this truck from the junkyard about a year ago, and I've subsequently upgraded and modified all sorts of things, did repairs to the engine, all sorts of stuff. And so the real big part of what I did to this truck is in the back here. So I stripped it out, and I have converted it into a livable camper. So let me show you that now. All right, so let's start out with the cabinetry. So as you can see over here, I have built an entire cabinet system to keep everything secure and in place while I'm driving the vehicle. And then uh, when I stop and find a place to set up camp, I can access everything easily uh, and really use it to its fullest potential. So here is my uh, bench so I can sit there and then I've got my countertop here made out of soapstone and this is kind of where everything happens. You can see I've moved the factory 12 volt outlet uh, and then also installed a inverter and I've got an additional light there that is controlled off of the light up here. So if I climb in here for a sec you can kind of see so the latches here so they don't open when I'm driving. And in here I have the full complement of utensils and plates and all sorts of stuff. So I can uh, prepare my meals and kind of live out of it. And it's kind of like a small kitchen of sorts. So moving on from that, latch that back up. This side as well. Move on to the lower cabinet, which flashes a little stiff from the humidity we had recently. But yeah, that one doesn't want to open. But I've got other utensils in here. I've got the factory um, radio plug-in back there. I'll probably never use it, but I figured I'd include it. Some more wiring for various other stuff. I'll get to in a minute. Uh, and then I've got my pan in there as well. So. And then under here, I've got my air mattress, my stove, and all sorts of other stuff. So let's move on to uh, tool storage. All right, I'm going to come over to this door. I've got this right here. So this is basically my bench, but there's a little lip here. You pull up on it. And this is where I keep all of my spare parts. So just in case I need them, they're here. Nice and accessible, but also hidden away uh, for regular use so that they don't get in the way and they're not uh, generally, they're not like rattling around or anything like that. So it makes a really nice addition without being in the way or uh, being too much of a hassle to access. And if we close this and go around over here, this section is also storage. This panel lifts up, and then I've got my tools right there, wrenches, all that kind of stuff. So that's really kind of useful and helpful without being in the way, because I can just put the top back on it, like that, and now it's a bench again. And then when I'm ready to go to bed, I can convert it into sleep mode. So there's a little latch down here. So this is a little stiff, so bear with me as I do undo it, but... Pull that out and then pull that like that. And then these unfold like that. There's a third one up there. You can see around the back side there. And then this flops out. And then that one, you undo that strap, orange strap right there. And then this whole panel folds out as well. So then I have a nice long sleeping area. I can put my blow up mattress on it and sleep comfortably in the back of my Land Rover. So I'm going to fold this up, and then I'll show you the sink. All right, before I get to the sink, I want to just quickly point out the uh, the metal work I did here. So I need a little more room than the factory panels would offer, so I pulled them all off and slapped uh, some sheet metal and riveted it in here. And the sheet metal combined with the uh, cloth pull straps gives it a cool, like, old-school race car or airplane look that I really enjoy. And so I also do that the same thing on the side doors. So we come over this side door. You can see that metal panel here, but you can also see my sink. So 
how this works is you pull this little strap out and then you pull out the spout right here and then you've got the full sink right here and then it's on this little switch and it turns on there's no power to it right now but to get power to it i've wired up the ignition so that you flip this little switch right here and then that fires up the ignition that's like turning the key one position and then we can go back here and there she goes give it a second to build air pressure and then there's your water like that and then that'll keep running without air pressure for a little bit so and then stop the water you can just take it pick it up throw it back there but that's run off of a little air pump right there you can also see my extra butane for my uh stove and then that that's all wired behind this cabinet you could see before and so i got my little soap dispenser there paper towels and that's the setup there and then moving on to a couple other custom things i just wanted to show you so first off is the custom door panel so i have a video about doing that um really not that difficult once you kind of figure it out but so my suede was falling apart so i kind of put in this uh plaid and it's much better it matches the headliner as well which i also redid in the same plaid and you can see in the back corner there the um i covered up some of the wiring and stuff with more plaid and magnets uh, i also did some various other stuff such as installing these gauges to keep an eye on temperatures since the Land Rover engines are notorious for blowing head gaskets and oil pumps and all sorts of stuff. So I put that in to kind of just keep an eye on that oil pressure as well because the oil pumps like to go, especially on 03s such as this one where they misalign the pumps from the factory. But you can see that other door panel there and the fold out section for the back over here. But that's a general overview. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Camper. I'm, I certainly do. Um, uh, but yeah, leave comments, suggestions, whatever in the comments below. And thanks for watching.